Hey, hey, Intuitive Soul Tribe. Melissa, Intuitive Soul Coach here, excited to bring to you today's Pick a Card reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning, and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, beautiful souls, let's dive in. We have three beautiful crystals here, three piles that you may be feeling a strong pull, resonance, or attraction towards. It can be one pile or all three. There may be messages for you in all of these piles and it may not be at a specific date. If you are feeling a pull towards pile one today and then maybe you come back in a couple months, you may feel a pull towards pile two. Please take it as it resonates for you. Now we have here pile one. This is Jasper energy. So if you are feeling pulled towards this Jasper, then there may be something in pile one for you. Now pile two, we have this beautiful Carnelian. If you are being pulled towards Carnelian, then there may be something in pile two for you. And then lastly, we have what looks like, it looks like amethyst, but it's actually fluorite. So if you are being called towards this fluorite energy, then there may be something in pile three for you. So if you need a moment, just pause the video and really dive into the energies of each of these crystals and see which pile resonates for you. And I will meet you on the other side. Hello, hello, pile one. You chose Jasper, which is a really powerful energy as Jasper encourages us to go for what we believe in. It gives us the strength, the courage, and the motivation to open our hearts to see beyond the superficial, beyond what is right in front of us. It allows us to open that heart and that portal to trust and connect to the divine, to trust our heart, to navigate towards the things that we truly seek and desire in our our worlds. Okay, so right away here, we have a lot of different cards showing up. We have tarot, we have career, we have love. Your main theme card here is hobby. So it's a very important time for you now to bring more fun, more play, more creativity into your world, especially if things have been quite serious or stressful or anxious. This is really a time to bring more magic, more creativity, and more joy into your world. Now, this can be done through music, through singing bowls, through singing. This can also be done by mastering your craft, focusing on things that bring you happiness, your hobbies, your side projects. This could even be your career. If you are in a career that maybe it turned out as a side hustle, maybe you're an entrepreneur. I'm also getting this energy of learning, education, and knowledge around things that you are curious and inquisitive on. So whatever area of life you are struggling in at this time, it's important to take a look at things from a new angle. It's important to incorporate new energies, new friendships, and new hobbies into your world. It could be a wonderful time or period of your life to take up a gym membership because health is showing up very strong for a lot of people at this time. And it's more than just physical health. It's mental, it's emotional, it's spiritual. So you may have some hobbies, some goals that you've set out for yourself, but I do sense that you're taking them to the next level. So little bits and pieces of things that maybe you've had your fingers in, or you've been curious about learning, but maybe you've put it on the back burner. Maybe you've put it on hold. <clears throat> excuse me, for some of you, you may have been wanting to learn more about maybe nutrition or writing a book or how you can build a business from the ground up. Or if you are already an entrepreneur, I feel like you're discovering new ideas, new creative endeavors to take something to the next level. I keep getting next level energy. And there was another sign, I believe last week, that received that next level energy as well. So a really great time to focus on those hobbies and the things that bring you happiness and the people that you surround yourself with as well. 
All right, so the tarot cards that are showing up here for you, you have the three of wands, the seven of wands, which is that Jasper energy that I was picking up on about standing your ground and trusting your soul to lead you towards your purpose here. I'm sensing that some of you may be taking a class or a course on soul purpose or mission, something of that nature. You may even be going into mission work, volunteer work, or taking a look at your belief system. What's not working? What is working? What needs to be uh, upgraded within your world? What needs to be released as well? And that may be regarding wealth or excuse me, health. <clears throat> excuse me, because I do feel that some of you, you're taking a, a strong stance for what you believe is true for you. And the seven of wands is about defending yourself, standing up for your beliefs, being brave, even though everyone else may be going in this direction, you may be the odd man out that's saying, you know, I really want to go in this direction. And even though it's easier to just go with the crowd sometimes, because it takes true strength, true bravery, and true, true courage, to really follow your own path, that's what I see you doing here. So it's important here, especially when you have hobbies showing up as one of your key themes, it's important for you to stand your ground, go the distance, because this is about you non-conforming. I do see a lot of you either are entrepreneurs, business owners, or you're wanting to have more freedom, have more flexibility. You may even work from home, you may work from home part-time, or you may be focusing more on home projects, home renovation. This could be reorganizing, maybe painting some new walls as well. I'm also getting here the name Maria, Maria. So if that is your name, or if it's someone that you work with, the name Maria is coming to mind. I do feel that a lot of you, you may have been stuck in a position where you were defenseless, defensive, or constantly feeling pressure coming in from all different angles. You may have worked with someone or you may have been partnered up or in a family dynamic where you did feel like someone was on their defense, right? Putting up a wall and they may have felt like at times they were constantly looking for a fight or you just felt attacked by their behavior or their actions. I do like that the three of wands is showing up here behind this because this is about partnerships and alliances. It's a really great time instead of feeling that the world is out to get you or that you're going to be cast aside and left out. This is about you connecting with your soul tribe, pile one. It's a time for you to connect with other like-minded individuals, those that uplift you and support you. And that's what we were just talking about here with who do you surround your time and your energy with? Because the three of wands... <clears throat> is about a return on your investment. If you spend your time learning about the things that bring you happiness, it's going to be a wise investment and it could actually bring you monetary gain and value down the road, especially if you turn this into a business opportunity if you haven't already. Now for others of you, if this is relationship, if this is health, if you are putting your time and energy into this and connecting with the right people, instead of feeling like you have to do it all alone or all by yourself, this is saying here that you have a helping hand, you have the resources. Don't take your eye off the prize because just because there may be a bad day or a bad opportunity that's happened, it doesn't mean that that you have and hold a bad life, right? Because there's always free will, there's always choice, and we always can veer in a new direction. You also have the Seven of Cups. There's definitely some choices coming in. I'm also sensing some of you maybe feel overwhelmed because of the responsibilities and because of everything going on that you may be feeling a little bit scattered, Pile One, and Jasper can help you come to that heart center. It can help you open up this heart chakra, especially for those of you that do suffer from anxiety, depression, or you feel like there's an elephant on your chest at times. You just feel a lot of heaviness in this heart chakra. This is about choosing wisely, choosing where to, again, spend your time, who you spend your time with, what are you spending your money on. Uh, there are some choices that are going to be important for you in the near future, but you need that mental clarity to to move forward and pick 
pick one or two things that you can put all of your attention and energy on because that's going to help you stay organized, prioritize, and stay on task because sometimes you can feel so overwhelmed by the tasks at hand that it actually stalls you or freezes you from making any decision or any action. Okay, sometimes we we need to break things down into baby steps. <clears throat> Instead of saying that we have to clean the entire kitchen and we have a million cupboards to go through, break it down. Start with maybe the silverware drawer and start with something small. Bite-sized pieces is what I just heard. Bite-sized pieces. So some of you need to break things down into bite-sized pieces because there is the sense of feeling overwhelmed at times. So seven of cups showing up. This is about needing to focus. This is about manifesting those desires, those dreams, those wishes that you have by setting a clear intention and then taking that action behind that intention to bring something to reality here. <clears throat> You also have this Hierophant energy showing up. This is all about divine guidance, Taurian energy. Now you're breaking free, I feel, from traditions. This is gaining the wisdom. So some of you, maybe you were brought up in a specific tradition or a religious upbringing or a belief system. This could be societal standards as well. But what's happening here is you're realizing that those traditions may have been someone else's, right? You're realizing that what worked for them may not work for you. You may have different views of how you were brought up or how you thought about a situation. It could be marriage. It could be how you earn a living. It could be the family dynamic of, you know, white picket fence and having to go to school and go in debt in order for you to pay off that for the rest of your life and work a nine to five job to get married and have children. So I feel like not saying that that's not what you don't want or you're not going to get that, but I do sense that you're shaking things up a little bit. Perhaps you had children out of wedlock or perhaps you decided to... <clears throat> excuse me, not go to school, but to learn everything you could and to build up your own, your business on the side here. This is about you breaking free and gaining the necessary wisdom through trial and error, pile one. This is about you taking action and knowing that if it doesn't work out or if you maybe fall flat on your face at times, knowing and patting yourself on the back that you've at least tried, right? And knowing that when your last days come on earth, that you don't have any regrets because you were able to live fully, live entirely. And I do sense that a lot of you may try many different things in this lifetime. And that may be why soul purpose is coming in so strong where you may be thinking, well, what is my soul purpose? You've already been living it. You've already been doing it. You've already been doing the work, right? And sometimes we think that we have to have just one purpose, right? We have many when we come to this lifetime. We choose many different human experiences and we have, of course, main themes that we come here to earth with that we would like to conquer, but we have free will while we're here to pivot and turn and course correct. And that's what you're realizing here at this time. Now you have the wisdom to make some choices from the heart, but you're using the mind as well or the head to lead with the heart. So I love this, using the head to lead with the heart. So you're blending both beautifully and within that you're finding wisdom. You see here the little dog and dogs represent loyalty and it's a white dog as well. So purity. So this is about you staying loyal uh, to your, your soul. This is about you doing things in an authentic, genuine way and staying true to what you want to manifest in your world because your story is not the same as someone else's. Someone else's dreams, desires, and beliefs, if they were ever pushed upon you, because I'm getting that someone Typically, it's a parent who tries to live their fantasies out through their children as well. So that could be your own parents, or maybe you've tried to do that, or you felt like someone was pressuring you to, to go in this direction because it's worked for them. Don't let someone's manipulation or coercion get you all twisted up and caught up and get you confused or sidetracked with what it is that you truly seek and desire, Pile One, because you're gaining the wisdom and a lot of you are actually old souls. You're old souls and your soul knows the truth, knows the way. So keep on going forward here because I do sense that there could be a revelation, there could be a breakthrough. And with this Hierophant here, this is about 
taking a look at your belief system and busting through some illusions or some beliefs that were set in place many, many, many moons ago. And you're challenging and you're questioning them. And I feel like it actually feels good for you. You're saying, you know, I don't have to live that way any longer. I don't have to keep doing this because it doesn't feel good. I've had that experience. Now I choose to pivot and move in this direction. And that you're trusting your soul's wisdom. So I'm loving this. Now, when it comes to your path, you do have here family, you have justice, you have nutrition, and you also have trust as the final card. Now, this family card says loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So some of you have struggled. Boy, have you struggled with a family dynamic. And that may be why you have the Hierophant energy showing up here as well because this can be about breaking free from some generational traumas, right? This can be about doing things in a different way. This can be you possibly being the first entrepreneur in the family, the first one to maybe not drink alcohol, the first one to decide not to have children. Maybe you're the first one to come out as, you know, a bisexual or liking the same sex. There's something that you are breaking free from here and it feels good. It feels liberating. And this is about you trusting in your higher self. But it, at the same time, you may be looking back at family uh, traditions and you may say, am I going to be cast out? But I feel like it may surprise you how you actually feel in this situation once all is said and done. Now, you may be starting a family, you may be raising family, I'm getting, uh, you may even be in a family type of business, or you could maybe be a family coach, a counselor. Some of you have worked with family and children. I'm getting something around domestic uh, violence. You may be a domestic violence advocate, or you help domestic uh, women and children, especially with the justice energy coming in behind this as well. This could be bringing justice to unfairness, in family situations, you could be a divorce lawyer or you could be a family uh, therapist or coach as well. Uh, for others of you, this is about you loving what it is that you do to make a living. Or even if you don't work, maybe you're a stay-at-home parent, right? This is about you focusing on these family dynamics, whatever they may be for you. This is part of your soul truth. It's part of your soul purpose. And a lot of times people get that soul purpose confused with that's that's what I have to do for a living. Your soul purpose are the experiences and truth that you chose to have here on earth. And a big piece of that soul purpose and that theme is family. And it may not always be a pretty thing either, right? It's not always going to be rainbows and unicorns. There's that flip side to everything. And that's how we grow and evolve is through some of these challenges. Now you have justice showing up here. Now this represents so many different things here in your reading. It says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. I'm getting some other things from this justice card as well. I mean, the justice can be that Libra energy of karma and balance, but it can also be a legality that you were dealing with or something that felt unfair, unjust, or just felt imbalance in your life. This is the time to bring that balance back into the equation because I'm feeling here for a lot of you in pile one that something has felt off kilter or missing from your life, from your world. Now, there may have even been someone in the family who... Uh, was behind bars or maybe it was the opposite. Maybe they put people behind bars. Maybe they're a police officer or a correctional officer or like I said, a lawyer, judge, something of that nature. But I do feel here for you with this justice card, this is about you feeling better on a body, mind, soul level, balancing family dynamics. And then on the other end, we have nutrition here. This is health. So when we're taking a look at health, this is energetic health as well. Please do seek a medical professional if need be. See the disclaimer in the description box below. But this can be you cooking delicious food for other people, whether it's family, whether it is within your profession. But I do feel that some of you, uh, you're, you're thinking about the things you put in your body more so now than ever before. And it's not just the, the, the usual food and water or, you know, it could be alcohol or tobacco even. But I'm also sensing you're taking it a step further. Some of you are thinking of, you know, the lotions that you put on your skin, the makeup, the shampoo, the conditioner and soaps. It can be what you use to 
to clean your clothes. So the skin is the biggest organ of the body taking in everything that we put on it. So I feel like you're taking this nutrition, some of you, to the next level, and you may even be making your own soaps. You may be making your own carpet cleaner, your own laundry detergent. I'm just getting here a lot of wellness coming from this nutrition card. Even though this is focused on culinary skills, I'm sensing intuitively it goes beyond that. It is that body, mind, soul wellness is coming in and you're taking a look at uh, what's benefiting you and what's not. I'm getting diabetes for some of you. There could be something with uh, diabetes or taking a look at what one eats because there could be a precursor showing up or maybe you've had family because family showing up. There are some family dynamics that you don't want to repeat. Now, some of you may have said, well, my mother has died of cancer or she has had cancer, my grandmother, my grandmother's sister, you know, my aunt. And I feel like you're trying to take precaution to, to heal some family dynamics that sometimes feel hereditary or they can be hereditary, okay? That's not gonna resonate with all of you. And then I'm getting here with this trust. This is about trusting your body this is about trusting your intuition and trusting that you are not alone because some of you I'm getting felt felt cast out, cast aside. Some of you are only children or you are the black sheep of the family or you live in a completely different country or a different culture than maybe you grew up in or a different background as well. I'm also getting here some, some by um biracial family dynamics or even uh, blended family dynamics here with the family and you're breaking traditions which is a beautiful thing because it's about integration and it's about what the heart wants and love instead of judgment instead of criticism but you've definitely been through a lot of that is what I feel here as well. Okay, so when it comes to finances, I do sense that some of you have been through a rough patch. This is about borrowing money, whether it's about borrowing money from family or other people may have borrowed money from you. This can be about borrowing from a bank. It can be borrowing time. It can be borrowing uh, anything, whether it's from you or to you but you may have felt low on cash is what I get. And we, we all can go through those periods where we don't feel like we have enough, right? And that is that kind of four into five of pentacles that I've been picking up on for a lot of you, even though we don't have that here. This is about you reinventing yourself to increase all areas of your life. Now, some of you may work in healthcare, you may work in hospice, or you had to take care of a family member, a sick loved one. I'm getting that some of you had to take care of a loved one who who had a terminal illness such as cancer or um, okay I'm also getting Alzheimer's for some of you as well or even dementia or maybe you've worked in an elderly home where you worked with a lot of people who maybe had cancer or Alzheimer's please take that as it resonates here but I'm the biggest energy I'm getting from this is that a lot of you are healers a lot of you may have had to leave the workplace whether forced or you had to leave because it was detrimental to your health. And now you're in this mode, this period of reinventing yourself. What's next, right? What's the next chapter of my life? How do I make the decision to move forward? That's why you have that seven of cups in your energy because it's about clarity. It's about focus and taking that next step here. Reinventing your world from the inside out. Now you also have here the cup. This does talk about an overflowing cup of prosperity. Whether you feel like your, your cup is full or empty, that is true for you, right? And some of you may be saying, well, Melissa, uh, if I'm saying my account is full, but it's not, how is that true for me? This is about you doing things. Here's the hobby card, so this makes perfect sense. This is about you doing things that fill your cup and sometimes we only see one way of filling it right financial fulfillment but this is so much more than that this is emotional fulfillment this is a love for what you do a love for the people that you surround yourself with and most importantly a love for oneself now this may come into play when it comes to your career. Some of you are a nurturer, you may be taking care of business, or you're heading towards a lot more fulfillment in all areas of your life, especially career, when you start to fill your cup with things that you're curious about, things that bring you excitement, creativity, when you know it's a passion here of yours and it brings you joy and it brings you 
this sense of liberation. I keep getting that for you here as well. So some of you may actually be freeing yourself from a situation that you felt tethered or tied to or even bonded or restricted to. Now you have the butterfly showing up. This is about support, sudden changes. Do pay attention to your spending as well, especially for those of you that even though you may have more than enough, maybe you resonate with the uh, overflowing cup here. Maybe you have a full account, which is blessed, right? So many people don't have that. I do feel it's important for you to keep an eye on your spending or where you put your money as well. You may be putting it in different places. If you have some money to do so, or you're taking a look at where you put your time and your energy as well, because there's this energy of balancing balancing this out for you. So putting your time and your energy half into this and then half into this. This is about you prioritizing and yes, still maintaining responsibilities, but you're letting your hair down. Having a little bit more fun is what I'm getting here as well. Now this does say fun work. This talks about temporary jobs. It talk, talks about art, creative movement here. It could be short-term loans or just temporary positions for the time being. But I'm sensing this is temporary ideas that can turn into something more permanent once you take them down to reality. Once you actually stay consistent with these ideas, goals, hobbies, or whatever you're curious about, right? You're able to bring them down to earth and take that action behind them. And that's going to usher in some sudden changes for you. Now we have here climbing and the tin cup, which is interesting because you have two cup cards here. So you may be a water sign or you're definitely focusing on what to put in your cup. There's that empress energy. Fill in your own cup instead of what other people think you should put in that cup, right? This tin cup is all about fulfillment. What can you do that fulfills you on all levels? Not just one, right? Not just financial fulfillment, but what brings emotional fulfillment as well? What brings something that's fun, that's sweet, that you like to do, that has to do with your soul's mission, your soul's work? Can you blend it? Can you create this into uh, something sub substantial? A lot of you are climbing up. Even if you work in the corporate world, there could be a promotion. You may be getting a new job offer that's just better. Even if it's lower pay, it may be better off mentally. And that is a double win because you're looking at your, your mental health as a great investment. And that's what I see changing here for a lot of you, especially if you have suffered from a lot of mental stress, anxiety, worry, concern. I do feel that you're, you're putting your energy and time into things that do bring you a uh, positive mental health, positive mental equity, as well as financial equity as well. And then your final card here from the soul truth is, am I letting fear stop me? And it's interesting here because it says, are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? And you literally have this mountain and look at that. He's actually on the other side of the mountain. Who climbs mountains like that? You gotta be a risk taker. So a couple of energies showing up. Some of you are willing to take a big risk. And for others of you, you're pushing through fear. And it may at one point have seemed impossible to do something, but you're doing it. What do I we say about false uh, about fear false evidence appearing real are you stalling freezing or giving up the juicy secret pile one is that you are the boss of fear you are unstoppable but it's up to you to see that by taking action today's soul action be brave and do it scared choose one fear and move through it you are in need of a hero so that is who you will become really beautiful. I love this reading for you. There is a high emphasis here, pile one, with you ah, breathing, letting your hair down. Like I said, having a little bit more fun. If you've been holding a lot of energy in, it's time to release, channel that energy into creative things. Join a gym, take a class, uh, surround yourself with nature, go out for walks, meditate more, uh, join maybe a Tai Chi class, a yoga class, a belly dancing class, a pole dancing class, whatever it is here for you. But there's some stuck stagnant energy within that is longing to ex express itself. And when we keep things held within the body, that can create dis-ease or disease, right? So I feel that a lot of you are really hyper-focusing on your, your wealth and your health 
and you're focusing on pushing through some of these things that have been stalling you, freezing you, or holding you in place. Now is the time for you to take a look at your belief system and upgrade if it needs to be. Sometimes I find that many of us, we get stuck in our old ways, especially if you've been doing something for 40, 50, 60 years. I see this happen all the time. Well, I've been with that person for 40 years. I can't start over now. I've been doing this job for 25 years. I can't go in this direction. Why the heck can't you, right? Why can't you? Just because it's something that is within your comfort zone and you've been doing it repetitively and you can do it like you're on autopilot, a robot, but you are not a robot. You are a soul having a human experience and you have the free will to change things up. If it does not feel good any longer, then choose to have a new human experience. You have the power you are in need of a hero. That's who you'll become. Be your own hero, pile one, because you have the wisdom. You have the strength. You have the power. And most importantly, you have that divine support backing you up with whatever it is you're deciding to move forward on. So really powerful reading here. I hope this resonates with you, Pile One. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. And if you were resonating with any other crystals or any other piles, feel free to check that pile out as well, or even save this video to your watch later and come back. You may feel a strong pull towards a different pile at that time. Thank you again so much for tuning in and being here, Pile One. Lots of love. Hello, hello, pile two. You chose carnelian, one of my favorite stones. Carnelian works with the sacral chakra and it promotes creativity. It can help bring more pleasure into your life, fertility as well, and it can help you with relationships as well as the relationship you have with self. It is a really good stone that encourages one to be courageous, to step into their power and to feel all of themselves on all different levels here. So really wonderful choice. One of my personal favorites as well. Let's see what messages are showing up for you. Now, this energy is very powerful here, I'm feeling. So you chose a brand new direction, a brand new path, and your main theme card here for you, Pile 2, is new life. So there's going to be, if not already, a huge shift, a transformation happening within your world. Now, this new life represents transformation. It is all about big changes within your energy field. You're either on the cusp of some big changes or you're currently going through them. This is about a reset, a rebirth, a fresh start. You're heading towards a new journey, a new fool's journey of growth, of enlightenment, of happiness, yet there are challenges on the way, but I do sense here that you're going to go through those challenges with more ease than the setbacks that you've endured in the past. So this is about you heading towards this new life and stepping into this powerful, vibrant, creative energy that Carnelian brings. And I feel like there are relationships around you that may be falling to the wayside if they no longer are in alignment, if they are no longer resonating with your soul and it doesn't mean that you are just cutting these people out without a word ghosting them i don't feel like you're doing that pile too but you are attracting the right people into your world your soul tribe and the people that don't deserve a seat at the table so to speak you're finding that they kind of organically fall to the wayside and that's okay it goes with the ebb and flow just like friendships right friendships can come and go jobs come and go situations come and go and i feel like there's a brand new beginning here taking place for you now, when it comes to your sole purpose, you could certainly be in the midst of a career change. This is coming in for you, for a lot of you, very strongly here. Whether this is you taking on a new challenge, whether you're an entrepreneur or you are receiving a promotion, or maybe you are going in a completely different new path and shaking up the game a little bit. 
Some of you are going back to school, deciding to open up your own business, or you're taking your business for a turn. I'm getting here a loop and something may be coming back 360, but you have the resources now, or you have the experience or the knowledge to take something to that next level. It says you are embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. I'm also getting that because you have career change, some of you may be heading towards retirement as well or you may be deciding to uh, build a business up. You may already have a business, but you could be starting a new business or adding to the pre-existing business that you already have here. So definitely career changes. Because you have new life along with career change, you may even be moving for a career. For others of you, you may be moving first and finding a career or you're able to rem work remotely. I'm also getting that some of you may have a spouse or a significant other that you are moving to in with or moving to go be closer to, or this could be a spouse or a significant other has a change within their career as well. You also have children showing up. Now, pile two, this can mean many different things. You may work with children. You may be starting a family. You could have a children going off to school, going off to uh, first grade, uh, elementary school here. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. And this could even be adult children. Sometimes we fail to see that we are all children at some point, and we're going to constantly go between that ebb and flow of student and teacher as well. So I do feel here with the children, some of you may have gone through a deep inner healing of that inner child. You may have been dealing with other people around you that were working on healing their inner child as well. So many different things showing up. Now this children card is all about innocence. It's about playfulness. It's about enthusiasm. When you are a small child, you you think about what's right in front of you. You live for the moment. You're not stressing about what you're, what's going to happen at school the next day or who's going to steal your toys, right? You're living right in the moment and you're enjoying every minute of it. But children are also not afraid to express themselves. And that's what this uh, carnelian is all about is self-expression and doing it in healthy ways. So I feel like a lot of you in pile two are finding ways to express yourself in healthy new ways in all areas of your life. Now you have energy healing showing up. Some of you are light workers. A lot of you are. This can be you being a Reiki practitioner. Uh, you may work in yoga. You could be a reader, a spiritual reader, uh, work with tarot cards, oracle cards. I'm also getting massage therapist here or it's interesting, they're showing me something with crystals. So you may even work with crystals, uh, work with crystal jewelry or gemstones. It says your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So even though you may not be doing this for a living uh, professionally, it's certainly something that is going to increase your, your career is this energy work and energy healing. I'm also sensing that some of you may be getting a reading done in the near future, or you may be going and talking to a nutritionist, a naturopath, a healer, or a psychic. And I feel like you will build a strong, solid relationship with this person, or you will take their advice advice to heart, but of course, trust yourself first and foremost. But I am sensing here there are people coming into your world that are very resourceful that can help you on your healing journey as well. You may even be called to help other people or children at this time. You could also help other entrepreneurs build up their business. Okay, some of you may have even worked in childcare, daycare, or you ran a daycare maybe from your home and you're thinking about a career change. Please take that as it resonates. So the tarot cards that were pulled for you, we have here the Eight of Wands, which is about a fast moving energy. So some of you may actually be quite surprised at how quickly something shows up in your world. This Eight of Wands is accelerated motion. It's the second fastest moving energy aside from the chariot, right? This is something quick. So this could be an idea that you have where it's bada bing, bada boom. I have this idea the next day, I'm taking it all the way, I'm launching it. It could be a job that you apply at 
and you find out the next day you have an interview and they want you to start right away. It could be, uh, in a, I'm getting here approval, like stamp of approval, whether it's a home move, it could be a rental contract or a real estate contract where something happens quickly. And it's interesting because a lot of these things do take time, but I feel like there is going to be communication or a message. Now, if this uh, pretend, uh, projects into relationships, there could be some messages coming your way that you weren't necessarily expecting, but it could speed things up for you as well. So I'm also getting flying, traveling on a plane. You may be going back home to maybe visit family or you may be getting on a plane and going and meeting someone quickly uh, for maybe a business transaction or an interview because some of you are flying. Now you may even have been in a long distance relationship but you're starting a new life with someone or you may even be leaving a relationship to start a new life elsewhere as well. So Eight of Wands showing up is all about movement travel, relocation, and quick messages or quick movement after a time of delay. You have the six of pentacles, material and uh, spiritual prosperity. I love the six of pentacles. It is about reciprocity, equal give and take, right? If you do something for me, I'll do something for you. You know, uh, this is the energy of come work for me. I'll pay you, but you, it must be worth our time and our energy. And I feel like you're saying yes to a situation, to a work contract, to a new relationship. If it's based on reciprocity and it is based on something that feels balanced and feels fair, it's shifting in your material and spiritual world. So I do sense here that your prosperity is growing and sixes are all about harmony. They're about problem solving, responsibility, as well as staying loyal to your dreams. And that's what you're doing here as well. The six of pentacles can be about assistance. It could be about unexpected resources. And that's what I feel could even be showing up for some of you. Something unexpected when it does come to your financial or material world is showing up here and it's showing up for the better. So this is really great news because it's going to create more balance in your world. You have the justice. So it could even be something within the legal system. It could be some sort of back pay. It could even be child support. It could be uh, alimony or it could be a settlement that you've been waiting for, inheritance. I'm getting children for some of you though as well. So maybe some, again, child support or something to do with children. For others of you, I'm getting if you have struggled with fertility, there could be some news coming in. Maybe you have wanted to maybe even adopt or you have been wanting to find maybe a surrogate. There's something around fertility coming in. Even though I don't see the Empress, I'm feeling this intuitively and it feels like it's been un unfair, but you're finding some sort of resolution or solution to a situation around family or children here. This justice card is about karma as well. A lot of you had to go through or you went through a karmic cycle, karmic relationship, karmic career or path. But I do feel here that there's more equality, there's more fairness and there's truth and a whole lot of it. I'm getting here the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So some truths are coming in for you after a time of maybe some lies, maybe even some deception possibly even third party energy. Now your final tarot card is the three of cups, beautiful energy of rejoice and celebration. This is about the news of a birth, right? Which we just talked about. It could be the news of a new job, passing a test. It could be reuniting with loved ones or people from the past. It could even be a wedding reception, a wedding party, connecting with your community, connecting with your family or loved ones, raising your glass to cheer, cheers, uh, some sort of success, celebration or goal that you've wanted for quite some time. So really powerful energy coming in here for you. I'm loving the carnelian showing up uh, in your energy, bright, bold, and kind of a little bit loud. So something's coming in loud for you, but I feel like it is something that's well-earned, well-deserved. So there could be even a loud announcement or something. I'm getting here uh, like tink the tinking on a glass, you know, when you go to a wedding and they hit the glass and they say attention, there could be some sort of speech made or maybe you're delivering a speech or something is loud and clear, but it's for you is what I feel. All right, when it comes to your money, your income, your wealth, your career, you have also beautiful cards. So a lot of you, this absolutely has to do with a new job or a shift in that direction because you have the nugget, 
you have the feather and you also have the four leaf clover. So again, some of you may have to pinch yourself. There could be something with Ireland or you may have some Irish descent or Irish background, but this is about hitting that lucky break because you've taken a risk, taken some sort of gamble, taken a chance, and now good fortune bestows upon you, pile two. This is about your finances. Some of you may receive money due to, now it may have felt risky, it could have been risky business, or maybe you decided to put your money in different spots or put your energy, and maybe you decided to risk it all, move across country, sell everything you had. I'm just getting here that you had to make some decisions that maybe you were unsure if they were the right ones, but you were bold enough to take that chance. This can be about surprises, and I certainly see that there's a surprise coming in here for you, and it could be a surprise that shows up quickly. There could even be birthday celebrations coming in uh, for you. Whenever you're watching these, these are timeless, but I'm getting something with celebrating uh, a birthday, whether it's your birthday or uh, a child's birthday as well, children's birthday coming in here. I'm also getting the lo a loved one who's crossed over. It could be their birthday but there is a celebration. Also, I'm getting someone, this is very specific, uh, someone may have lost a brother uh, or a child at a younger age, and it could be their birthday coming in, but I feel like there's some positive news. So there's some sort of silver lining within this energy or within this dynamic as well. Now you have the nugget, which does talk about a small increase, valuable information and honest assessments. Isn't that interesting? Honest assessments. And we have the whole truth, nothing but the truth that spirit was bringing in earlier as well. Now this talks about a fresh start, which you literally have fresh start, those words verbatim on this new life. And you also have fresh start on this nugget. This is about steady work, career building, uh, starting not necessarily completely from scratch. Some of you may be absolutely, but I sense that you're also starting uh, from wisdom here. There's a lot of wisdom accumulated, but you've trusted yourself and that's a beautiful thing. You have the feather card. This is about abundance, easy money, divine intervention. And there's that travel card as well. It could be travel by air. And I do feel that strong for a lot of you. You may be planning a trip. You may be traveling. Some of you may even be getting a pilot's license. I'm also getting jumping out of a plane. So some of you may be go going skydiving as well. Uh, but this can also be about uh, indecision. Not quite sure how something is going to pan out, but you're trusting in your soul to lead you, which is beautiful because you're being divinely guided to have a fresh start in an area of your life at this time. So really powerful pile two. So we have here the apples and the cabin. I love this. Uh, this can be about home matters. Now, some of you, yes, you are moving or you are shaped shifting your home environment, right? You could be painting the walls. You could be tearing uh, down a wall. You may be moving completely, building a home from the ground up. You may be relocating because something here may have needed replacing. And this could also be taking a look at some of those beliefs that were ingrained upon upon you since childhood, because we do have that children card here, uh, childhood wounding even and something needs upgraded. You could see this cabin. It looks like some of the wood is riggedy and old. It could be molding, rotting, or falling apart. And I feel like that's what's happening within your belief system is the old, the moldy, the pieces that are no longer holding things together, you're replacing. You're putting new wood on. You're creating new safety, new security in your world symbolically as well. So you're paying attention to home matters. And I'm also sensing that some of you finally have the money needed through, it could be some sort of settlement or back pay or whatever it could be here for you. Some of you finally either saved enough or have enough to make a move or make some sort of improvement. I'm also getting that there could be an appliance that needs to be replaced or something outdated. It could be something maybe as minor as maybe a, a a uh, microwave oven uh, or a toaster or a blender, or it could be something big such as a refrigerator or a stove or even a heating element within the heater because they're really talking about uh, upgrading the home as well. 
Now you have the apples card, which I love because this is all about prosperity and abundance, right? This is about uh, you being able to enjoy the sweet success here of life. When you bite into an apple, it's sweet, right? Uh, sometimes they you get the rotten ones, but I feel like you've had plenty of bad apples, right? And I'm also getting here something regarding the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, Okay, and I'm sure you've heard that that saying before, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So there could be someone in the family dynamic or something that you are breaking free from. Now, again, we talked about this a little bit in the beginning, I think, uh, or if you're really dealing with some family structures and family dynamics and you did have a pull towards pile one, Jasper, you may want to check that reading out as well. But I am getting here that you are redoing things that have always been done one way you're you're taking it to the next level and you're saying you know what i'm not doing what everybody else has done i'm veering off in this direction and, and it's going to pay off in a big way prosperity and abundance i'm loving this for you pal too now last but not least from your soul's truth do you know all of your strengths and are you using them we all have superpowers but it's up to us to uncover them when we live Excuse me, when we live and lead with our strengths, we are able to show up in our zone of genius. This inspires others to do the same. Today's soul action, ask yourself, how can I use one of my soul's gifts today to contribute to this open and ready world. Beautiful. So I am getting here that you are focusing on your strengths and any of those weaknesses that you've had, you're pushing through. There is this energy here of pushing through fear and hitting that reset button and using even some of those weaknesses or those struggles or challenges or trials as your ally, as some of your greatest strengths. You're using them to be the catalyst in moving forward and creating this new life. So make sure you're focusing on those strengths or taking a look at the weaknesses and how can you join forces and have them show up as your ally. So taking a look at the shadow pieces and bringing them to light, which I just did, I believe last week in a collective reading on the shadow self. So I'll link all of the collective readings in this uh, in the description box of this video as well, in case you feel called to watch any of them if you haven't already, but focusing on your strengths and highlighting that sacral chakra. Now, when it comes to health, energetically, that sacral chakra, it can be uh, even that reproductive system, it can be colon, it can be, I'm getting kidney for some of you, there could have been uh, kid stuff with the kidneys or I'm getting adrenals, so maybe the adrenals, uh, the kidneys may have been affecting the adrenals as well. Please take it as it resonates. Please seek a medical professional if need be, but you're focusing here on bringing a new creative action to your world and it's going to pay out in a very big way thank you so much for being here pile two i hope this resonates with you if so please feel free to hit that thumbs up button or comment below and let me know your thoughts if you haven't already please hit that subscribe and notification bell thank you so much for tuning in lots of love Hello, hello, pile three. You chose the beautiful fluorite. Fluorite is an excellent stone for mental clarity, for soul purpose, and for helping us connect to the divine, our soul's truth, our higher power. And it can clear up any communication issues between ourselves and other people, or it can help us connect to the divine. It can help guide us through meditating uh, towards our highest good and what it is that we want for ourselves based on a soul truth level here. So let's dive in and see what's coming in for you. Right away here, we have your key theme being heart's desire. This is a really powerful energy here because I feel like you are opening up the portal of the heart, but this fluorite energy, and it actually, fluorite has bits and pieces of green. I don't know if you can see that there, but fluorite has this beautiful green, but it all, and that connects with the heart chakra, which is heart's desire, but then it also has this divine purple, which connects to that third eye and the crown. So when you are connecting to your higher self, your higher power, it directly helps you open that portal of the heart. So your key theme here is passion projects. It is about making decisions from the heart 
but allowing our our head to to lead with the heart here so there is a partnership there is a companionship coming in this is about heart health as well for those of you that have at times struggled with maybe anxiety or depression i'm getting here that your heart is opening up to a brand new energy whether it's a new relationship it could be a job that feels emotionally fulfilling and it could even be healing some of these issues around the heart center as well there could be forgiveness there could be grief there there could be things that you've suppressed or held that you're releasing that you may have been hanging on to. This is also a love for what you do when it comes to career, when it comes to your everyday life and world. And this is a really powerful energy to have. And I'm just getting for a lot of you, and, and I just did a reading not long ago on heart chakra activation, and I forget what sign it was for, but I do feel here for a lot of you, you have been going through a heart chakra activation period where you have been working on releasing some of those deep wounds, those deep triggers, some deep traumas and pains that you've accumulated in this lifetime. So the fact that your heart is opening up to this new energy, this new vibration, you're getting Getting rid of or eliminating things that have anchored you down or held you back because you've had to face some sort of shadow period here. Now your key themes, let's look at some of your soul paths and your key themes here. We have writing, we have yoga, and we have travel. So right away here it says you heal, pile three. You heal, you inspire, you teach, and you entertain with maybe the words that you write. Um, I'm getting here that some of you, you may be writing a book, a memoir, you may be teachers, not just in the traditional sense of maybe K through 12 or a college professor, but I do see that you may be even teaching others on a spiritual type of level. It could be on a platform such as maybe Udemy or something of that nature. I'm getting that some of you may have a gift of automatic writing as well. And if you don't know what that is or if you've never tried it, you may want to dive into that and see if that is for you because some of you may have been a huge journaler or you may have written in diaries growing up and then you kind of lost touch with that. But I do feel here there's something within your words, within your expression that's coming out, whether it's through your throat or through your hands. Uh, I feel like there is this energy here of uh, your life story and helping other people by what you've experienced as well. Now, others of you may be deciding to take a class or to take a course that can help you express yourself because there's this self-expression that I feel intuitively is taking place here. And now others of you, you may be even making some decisions around writing or some sort of document because I'm seeing something being signed as well. So there's writing coming in here in the near future, either a contract that you are literally signing or reading as well. Uh, but others of you, if you've been wanting to write a book, this is your time. I also feel here with yoga, a lot of you are practicing more mindful techniques. You are focusing on less stress stress in your world, so taking action towards stress management. It doesn't mean that you have to do yoga, but I certainly sense that flexibility, stretching, and working on your energy centers, the chakras, would be very beneficial to your, your healing, to your health. Because we have health as a huge emphasis, especially uh, within the past couple of months and down the road, and even though this is a timeless reading, I do feel for a lot of you, you're focusing on your health. Please seek medical professional guidance if need be. See the disclaimer in the description box below. But it says your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. And I do sense here that there's this clearing or decluttering of mental energy. Some of you have been really stressed out, overthinking a situation, leading or causing anxiety, worry, or stress in the heart center. So working with maybe a healer, if you're not a healer yourself or attuned to maybe Reiki energy, you could be seeking a therapist, a coach, uh, someone who works with yoga or can teach you how to do yoga. You may even be Googling, uh, you know, yoga poses that can open the heart chakra, or you may be typing in on YouTube yoga or different poses that can open up the energy centers. 
especially heart, third eye, and crown. That's really being highlighted here for you. Now, travel may be showing up here in the future, or some of you, maybe you're listening to this while you're traveling, whether for business or pleasure, because you have here, your life purpose involves traveling, right? So some of you, there could be a breakthrough or aha moment while you are traveling, while you are on vacation, even if you are on vacation for a business trip, I do sense that there's going to be a shift in energy. You may surprise yourself by falling in love with a location that you've never been to before or that you absolutely just, you get off that plane and you step into the energy and you say, this is home, right? You have a sense of deja vu, a sense of cell memory where the body says, this is my place. I've lived here before. I've been here before. Even if you haven't here on earth in this lifetime, there is this energy here of this is my place. So whether you actually physically move there or you visit this place often, I do sense that traveling is a big part of your soul purpose. Some of you are also searching or seeking for financial freedom, being able to work from anywhere in the world, work remotely, work from home. I also feel that you may be working in a different country or working with people from different countries or different states as well. You may even be in a long distance relationship where you travel to meet with your partner or with your person. Or you could meet someone if you're looking for love while you are traveling. Could even be a business venture as well. I'm getting convention. So you may be traveling someplace for work or you may be going to, again, it could be a convention or a meeting. <clears throat> excuse me, something of that nature where you meet other like-minded individuals that will be very important on your journey. All right. So the tarot cards that we have here. Oh, I love this. I didn't even, I haven't even looked at the cards prior. I just pull them, put them in a pile so we can read them together as we go. And I'm peeking here now and you have the crown chakra, which we've just talked about here as well. So you're getting a lot of, a lot of divine messages. A lot of you, your crown chakra is wide open. A lot of you are healers, seers, intuitives, or you are opening yourself up to this new way of living, a new way of being than maybe you have in the past. So trust the niggle, trust the, the niggling feelings, right? Trust the intuitive hits, the dreams, the synchronicities, the symbols, the signs, the numbers, whatever is showing up for you, stay inquisitive and ask, what does this mean for me? Really meditate because that's going to bring you clarity and it's going to bring you less stress as well. For those of you that do suffer a lot from stress uh, or panic attacks or a lot of anxiety, that heaviness on that heart, if you have a choice to make, this can help you drop to your heart center as well and make choices from the heart, choices from your highest good. Now you have here the five of pentacles. This is financial and material changes. So the five of pentacles, this shows up at a time when there could be money or health issues. There could have certainly been maybe bankruptcy in the past, or you may have went through some deep financial struggles or changes in your world because fives can represent obstacles. It can represent uh, changes, conflict. Now you have here travel showing up and fives can be about travel. So some of you are traveling from work or you are I'm getting traveling back and forth. Some of you may even travel a long distance and I feel like you want to put an end to that. You're thinking, what, what is going on where I have to spend four hours in a vehicle all day long, right? Um, for others of you, maybe you, you do work as maybe a flight attendant or a pilot. This could be an Uber driver. It could be, you know, anyone that that is constantly moving, relocating, traveling from place to place here. But with this five of pentacles, financial and material changes, I'm sensing here that it's important for you to dive into that belief system, okay? You will not be cast out or left out in the cold. There are some struggles and some challenges that I do feel that you've gone through because someone may have been wearing a false mask. You have the mask showing up in your career section here. This could be theft. You may have felt like people stole your time, stole your money even. I'm, so, I'm getting that some of you may have felt robbed, whether it's maybe you literally got robbed, maybe your car or your home or someone had robbed you of your time, didn't pay you, didn't, I'm getting here that there was some sort of injustice act done in the past. Um, again, 
It could be even a secret stash, trying to save up where you wanted to keep something to yourself. Even if you were maybe in a partnership, perhaps you were just trying to save a little bit. You may have even felt like you were pinching pennies here. Uh, this is about you discovering that hidden potential. Things may have felt like you've gone through the unknown here, but I do feel like there is great change ahead. And we'll dive into this category here shortly, but because we do have the five of pentacles, I wanted to bring that up. But I sense things are changing and there's commitment coming in here and there's something new, definitely something new with this heart's desire. And this could be you focusing on a passion project, but maybe it wasn't taking off the way that you thought it would and you loved it, but the money wasn't coming in here. You may be taking a deep dive into your belief system or a deep dive into your, your, your spirit, right? Because the next two cards are the wands and the wands are all about inspiration, willpower, creativity passion and the spiritual forces behind your career and your projects and your world you have the five again so another five it's the five of wands but you're following it up right away with the six of wands so even though there may have felt like a lot of competition a lot of obstacles, challenges. Some of you may have felt like the market was saturated with what you wanted to do, or maybe you felt like someone lacked leadership skills with this mask, right? This can be about coming together, working together here, or connecting with like-minded individuals that can help you grow because you are growing. You have the six of wands, which is about victory and success after obstacles and challenges. So you've definitely come a long way, pile three. You've come a long way and there's going to be success here. Remember what I said earlier about you feeling left out in the cold? This is saying that you will not feel humiliated, shamed, overlooked, or like a failure any longer. Okay, this is about you moving forward and getting recognized for your work, your worth. This can be the card of achievement, fame, victory. We have some actors, actor, actresses, or social media influencers. I'm getting that energy really strong, especially with the mask, which says literally act acting on it. And then we have the six of wands, which can be that energy of success and fame as well. So pile three, you may be an influencer or an actor uh, or someone who is getting noticed. This is about you being in the spotlight. This may even be if you've been wanting to publish a book or a uh, join up with someone who can help you advance your career. I certainly sense that that's coming in here for you. All right, when it comes to career, finances, wealth, and money, you have the mask card, which we've already talked about. This is about hidden potential. Behind the mask is the authenticity. This is about your true gift shining and you being recognized and noticed for them because what happens right behind it is the spiral. At times, it may feel like you're losing control or things are out of control all around you, right? We're seeing it happen on a collective global level even with the banking systems and currencies and just things spiraling out of control at times. But this is about climbing the ladder and upward trends. You can see here that this spiral, yeah, it starts small, but it ends up going outward here and there's no coming back. So I do feel that there is an opportunity to maybe revisit a job to gain a promotion. This is about connecting with other like-minded individuals. This is a great time to network like we talked about here. This could be a convention, maybe even a writing convention uh, or meeting someone who could be a publisher or an author or even one of your biggest influencers here. Some of you may even be traveling for a spiritual or yoga retreat as well, I'm getting. But we have this spiral energy, and I do feel like this is a, an activation, a power switch, right? Sp pi uh, spiraling in a positive new direction instead of feeling stuck or set back. Because the double fives here equal that 10. And fives are definitely about some challenges, but when you have two fives here, I feel like there's an ending to the challenge, bringing in a brand new beginning here for you because you're opening up and trusting your heart's desire. Uh, your final card here in this career sector is the light bulb. This is all about you having these lucrative new ideas. This is about a new income source, feeling inspired. A lot of you are entrepreneurs or you may be getting a new job in the corporate world or making work more fun, right? And that's why you have this heart's desire because this is about loving what it is that you do for a living. So if you've been 
feeling that things were spiraling out of control or you weren't loving what was happening here, you're going to have a light bulb moment or a moment of truth that shakes things up in a new way here for you. This light bulb goes off and I feel like there's a huge revelation that happens that says, what can I do from my heart? There's a decision that you may have to make because I'm getting strong lovers energy here as well, making decisions from the heart, but we can use our head to lead with the heart, right? So many times we hear head and heart and we have to choose one, but what if we brought those and integrated the two together? That's where the miracles exist. That's where the miracles lie. That's why we've been given a wonderful brain and a heart, right? We can't do one without the other. All right. So what else do we have here? We have, oh, I love this. You have eggs and spices. So not only is there a fresh start coming in here for you with the eggs, I do feel like this is an exciting new opportunity. So when it comes to any area of your life, this could be more than one as well. It certainly could start to get spicy, right? Something that maybe once tasted a little bit dull in your world, right? Add a little bit of spice to it and it changes the game. And that's what I sense is happening in your world. So if this is a career that you just felt was routine or you felt like a zombie or it wasn't fulfilling, you are heading towards something that completely is shifting that up and you're going full speed in the other direction. There's a fresh start coming in here and a new opportunity for you to spice things up. If there is a relationship that you've been in for quite some time, or maybe you've been single for quite some time, there is this light bulb moment coming in here that's going to really shake up the game. And I feel a lot of attraction. This is doing things in a new way, incorporating uh, new energies to your world that are going to feel more fun, more adventurous. There's more spontaneity for you as well, because I get that it's important to shake up that routine and something has become stagnant. Something has become redundant. And it's something that you may have just been feeling like your body, your mind, your soul was on autopilot, right? What am I doing? Why am I still doing this? Why is this feeling uh, like it's just stuck? Not any longer, Pile 3. There's a fresh start coming in here for you and one that it's going to be quite exciting as well. So pick your favorite spice here and add a little bit of that spice to your world because it's coming in, whether, whether it's relationship, career, health, it could be a move, it could be travel. I'm getting as well, some of you may meet someone and it could be a spicy relationship from the get-go as well. So please take that as it resonates. Now, last but not least, I'm loving this. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? The people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? And do they help you step into your greatest potential? Today's Soul Action Pile 3, make a desire list of the types of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and then clarify. Is there anyone in your life who no longer serves you? Can you love them from a distance? Yeah, absolutely. Because I do sense that the time has come to release people, situations, or things that have disappointed you, that have hurt you. This could even be beliefs or pain. You know, what has hurt that beautiful heart of yours? Can we love that energy from a distance or that person from a distance, right? Especially if it's someone who shows up repetitively in your life, but they're playing or telling the same story and there's no change. Remember that robotic type of energy that we were just tuning into? I feel like there's something stagnant and you're wanting, you're wanting a new change up. But like they always say, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. And I feel like you don't want to get what you've always got here, Pile 3. And that's why you have this huge heart chakra activation occurring within you. And you're realizing that this person, this place, this thing may not uplift you any longer. Therefore, you're choosing to do what's best for the heart and to love from a distance or to 
uh, go back to school, learn how to, you know, I mean, you could go online and learn. It doesn't mean you have to go back and spend tons of money at a traditional college unless that's what you want, right? But I do sense that you're learning new things about yourself. There's a sense of self-discovery happening here for you. And I feel like you're not alone. You are supported. I'm also getting here the name Buster. Some of you may have someone in your world or maybe it's a pet or maybe it's a place. Buster, please take that as it resonates. And I'm also getting this energy of tulips, tulips. So there could be, I mean, this is the time where maybe tulips are blooming. Someone may have gifted you a bouquet of tulips, uh, or it could be that you've maybe received them. I know Mother's Day is coming in here. If you celebrate that holiday, it could be a birthday as well. Or maybe you are in the store or you're, you're scrolling on social media and you see tulips. I mean, that could even be someone's... Um, part of someone's logo as well. Uh, so tulips, please take that as it resonates. But you're surrounding yourself with people who inspire you, who uplift you, and who help you be the best version of you. And that's very powerful. And when you find yourself doing that, you're gonna get rid of all the bad apples, right? The people who wore false masks, the people who didn't have your best interest at heart. And that's what's showing up differently this time around, where there is support here, there is love, there is companionship, and there is trust and loyalty as well. So I hope this resonates with you, Pile 3. A lot of very powerful energy coming in. If this resonates, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. Feel free to share, like, comment, hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. And if you felt attracted to Pile 1 or Pile 2, feel free to check that out as well or save the video. Come back at a later time. You may feel your energy pulling towards a different pile. Thank you again so much for joining and being here, beautiful souls. Lots of love and light.